Hello everyone, it's Gary back once again for the Nintendo Dance and I was lucky enough to get some hands on time and play Travis Strikes Again No More Heroes on the Nintendo Switch and meet up with the director of the game, Suda51. Travis Strikes Again sees protagonist Travis Touchdown fighting Badman, who is the father of Bad Girl, an assassin that Travis has previously killed. The two are drawn into a games console called the Death Drive Mark II and then must fight their way through the Death Drive's various games. So it's been several years since the last No More Heroes game, so I asked Suda51 if he could comment on the gap between these, and he replied that the timing wasn't really right before, and that Traffic Strikes Again was actually a perfect fit for the Switch. Plus taking a break has been healthy for the development and the growth of the game, and that it's good to take lessons learned from developing other games and have time to think of some new ideas. My hands on time with the game was mainly played through co-op. This consisted of an entire level plus a boss fight at the very end. Two players with a single Joy-Con felt really natural and controls were surprisingly simple and effective. There are also slight motion controls, which are mainly used to recharge Travis's beam katana. This is done by shaking the Joy-Con up and down whenever the katana runs out of energy. And seen as the multiplayer seemed like such a big aspect to Travis Strikes Again, I took the opportunity to ask Suda51 about its importance and also about the single Joy-Con usage. He replied that the team really wanted to push to use a single Joy-Con and felt it necessary to use all the Switch's hardware features. And with single Joy-Con and portable 2 play being such a big feature, they felt it necessary to tie it into the game. With a variety of special attacks and tight controls, Travis Strikes Again feels incredibly polished and a joy to play, and the script writing in this game is incredibly clever, funny and witty and I really can't wait to see how the story pans out and how all these different gaming worlds collide into one. So keep your eyes peeled for Travis Strikes Again No More Heroes when it launches later this year. And for more coverage on Travis Strikes Again and everything Nintendo and parenting, then you're in the right place here at the Nintendo Dads. It's too late.